What's up, y'all? It's Dan Camacho again. And today I'm going to show you something really, really clever. I'm not going to talk about cryptocurrency today. I'm not going to show you or review any type of crypto coin. Today I'm going to talk about generative AI and I'm going to show you how to make images at scale in an unlimited and unlimited and an automated way. I'm going to show you how to automatically generate imagery using Midjourney and Dolly through a tool that I have found that lets you do this while you sleep. You could literally generate images um, in multiple different ways while you sleep and basically generate content forever for all of your content needs. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. It's very, very clever, very cool what it's, what's actually happening in the AI space. And you know, what if you could create content forever, images specifically for your websites, for your applications, for your blog posts, for your emails, for whatever it is you want to create content and images for? You can actually do that now and automatically create things very, very easily with a team of one. And I'm going to show you how to do that today, all right? So first, what, what you will need is you will need a Discord account, you will need a MidJourney account, and you will need uh, Google Sheets, okay? There's three kind of prerequisites that you will need in order to do this. Discord, MidJourney, and Google Sheets um, in order to do this, okay? So let me jump right into it. I'm talking about this uh, MidJourney automation bot, okay? If you're familiar with MidJourney, MidJourney is a way that you can create images through just literally simple text prompts, okay? And the way you can do that is by going to Discord over here. Let me, let me make the screen a little bit bigger. But traditionally, what you do is you sign up for a MidJourney account, right? Here's a MidJourney account that I've signed up for behind me right here. Um, and you can see I've generated countless images across a variety of domains. And I'm going to show you how to create different businesses, create different websites, whatever you want to create using this uh, using this method that I'm about to show you, okay? So this is a MidJourney account. Um, I also have a Discord account right here. You can see I have a Discord channel um, right here. All these different images have been created through Discord. Um, if you ever use MidJourney, you'll you'll see that uh, very easy to create an image. You just type in slash imagine, and then you type in the prompt of what you want to actually um, what you actually want to uh, what do you actually want to generate? Okay, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Well, let's let's show you real quick. I'll say so. You type in imagine slash imagine, and then the prompt. Let's just say um, a dog uh, with a birthday cake um, and a cigarette. <laughs> all right, Let, let's let's make it fun. All right, so a dog with a birthday hat and a cigarette is going to be generated right now. You can see my prompt right here: a dog with a birthday cake and a cigarette. Um, and let's see what's actually generated from this. This will be important because I'm going to show you how to use this automation bot to do this at scale, feeding it data and information. There's a few different ways you can use it. One of them is to feed it data and information. The second is to uh, actually have the system generate uh, the images at random based on a few kind of uh, prefixes and suffixes. And then maybe another way, there's actually multiple ways, but another way is to um, have it generate images based off of, oh wait, where'd my image go? Here we go. All right, so it is done, check this out. So it generated a dog with a cigarette and a birthday cake. Actually four different images of dogs with a cigarette uh, and a uh, birthday cake, right? And if you go back into Mid Journey, I'll refresh my, uh, my instance right here of MidJourney, those images will pop up from my Discord account into my MidJourney account, right? And you can look at them a lot more closely. Let's uh, zoom in on that. Check that out, that dog with a birthday cake uh, and, uh, and a cigarette. There's another one. It generates four images every time you prompt it, okay? So that's that's pretty clever, that's pretty fun, right? So now, how do we automate this? Um, how do we automate MidJourney to create images um, at scale, over and over and over, hundreds, thousands of images. Um, how can you automate that and then use them to create content in a variety of forms? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right. So let's jump back into the sharing screen. So what I use, um, part of what I use is this mid journey automation bot, supercharger creative process, fully automated privacy mode included plus chat GPT prompting. Okay. A lot of different ways you can use this. It's made by Michael King. Maybe at some point I'll interview him and, and ask him how he made this in general. But here's a, a snapshot of what the software looks like. And I will pull it up in a minute. I have purchased this. It's $30, so you do need to purchase it. It has five-star reviews. But this tool is incredible, incredible. You can do single text file prompting, continuous prompting, continuous random word prompting. 
chat GPT prompting, the scribe mode, and historic images download, okay? So a lot of different options here of how you can automatically generate imagery through mid-journey using this bot, all right? I'm not gonna get into all the details here. I wanna actually show you how it works in action, but I'll put the link to this, uh, this tool in the show notes here if you wanna go check it out, all right? So let's jump in and how this works, all right? So you need a Discord account, like I said. You'll need a specific Discord channel set up, which I can show you at a later time. But right now, I'm just going to demo how this works. And then you need the automation bot. So right here is the automation bot, if you can see. Um, it's the automation bot uh, right here. Okay, cool. And let me, hold on. Let me just open up one more thing here. Um, here we go. All right, so here's the automation bot. I've opened it up. And there's a couple different ways to use this. Single text file prompting. Let's jump into that one right now and I'll do some other ones, other um, um, examples of this, maybe in a part two. But single text file prompting is basically when you feed a file, a text file into this by clicking browse here and you select a certain text file and the text file um, will have all the information that you wanna create, okay? So first, before I go into this, what I do is I will go to Google Sheets right here, and I will actually type in um, a formula using a different tool that I have to create a huge series of image prompts, all right? So if you look right up here, it's a little bit difficult to read, but I have a series of prompts. I actually have about five, I think there's about five, yeah, 516 um, image prompts that I've generated automatically using ChatGPT and using uh, GPT uh, uh, spread Google Spreadsheets uh, tool to do this automatically, all right? So you can see one of the prompts. It says, imagine a vibrant scene where the excitement of a game melds seamlessly with the real, real world stakes of housing hunting. The image would capture the essence of House Party, a revolutionary SaaS product that infuses the real estate industry, um, that infuses the real estate industry with a thrill of virtual reality. Picture a group of potential home buyers, headsets on gesturing, uh, animatedly as they explore the beautiful rendered digital home, all right? So that's one prompt. If I go down a bit, there's a bunch more. Imagine a bustling construction site reimagined through the lens of a cutting edge virtual reality. This is the world of Construct A World. It has a beacon of innovation in the SaaS realm. It invites construction managers to don VR headsets and step into an immersive simulation where their products come to life. So this is a series of prompts based on different SaaS tools um, that ChatGPT has actually kind of imagined from thin air. Um, and these are a series of text prompts. There's actually about 500 text prompts right there, okay? So all you do is you'd go back to this Discord channel. You would actually um, open up this mid-journey batch automation software. You would load this uh, the file right here. You would load this file into the, into the tool, as you see right here. And then you would go through the different settings. You'd say, enable uh, grid image split, uh, it, it, privacy mode, if you want to make it private, enable grid image split. That's an important one because right now mid journey generates four images at once and this will automatically split them out into the folder of your liking uh, by clicking on that. You can have it upscaled if you want. You can uh, do it in relaxed mode, fast mode, depends on your mid journey plan. Um, I like to do it in fast mode if you have the hours. If not, you could do it in relaxed mode. It just takes a little bit longer to generate the images, but not a big deal. And then you select your output folder right here. You just click browse, you select your output folder, and then um, you could actually choose it to log in automatically down over here. And that's it. All you do is submit, and then it'll start generating images on the fly. So I'm going to make a new folder. Um, let's just do it right here. I'm going to say, I'm going to create a new folder here and say uh, YouTube test. All right. So we'll put it in the YouTube test folder, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, select folder. So now the output of that is going to go in that folder. And now let's click submit. All right, so as that's warming up, it's going to actually log in. It's gonna actually open up a new instance of Discord here in a moment, which will kind of pop up and, and prompt. Um, but it'll open up a new instance. Oh, here it comes, all right. So it's actually doing it right here in a different window. Let me pull that over. It's opening this, uh, um, this new Discord channel. And what you need to do to start it um, it's going to log in here in just a moment. So let's uh, let's go away for a sec. It's going to log in, and then it's going to actually um, um, it's going to actually start. You do you actually do need to prompt it to start, um, which we'll do in a moment here. It takes a minute for it to log in, so um, I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's see here. All right, so uh, let's see. I'm going to get this going. All right, it's logging in. 
just takes a minute. But this is incredible. You're going to be able to generate, like I said, images at scale on the fly. Okay, so here's the new. All right, so here's the new window that it created. I'm going to go back to that channel that you swore. Um, and then it says, it says a little bit about the, the, the pro oh, whoops, got to go back to this channel. All right, come on. What is going on? All right, we are fully logged in now. Let's start it. So all you do is you click, you, you type in start and it will start. And what happens is this little window initiates um, from the mid journey bot itself. So you can see single file text prompting starting the bot and it gives all the different flags or settings that you've included in there. Um, and then when you type in the word start command into that discord channel, it actually will start or initiate this right now. So now it's it's kind of uh, making sure that I have an account um, with Midjourney, and you can see right here it's automatically doing any of this. It's automatically starting to um, do its magic. All right, it said remix turned on, clicking the variation. So it's gonna it's gonna generate a, a prompt here in just a moment, and uh, it's gonna start generating images. So okay, here it goes. It usually takes a minute or two. So let's let's give that a second while it gets going. And let me show you what it's actually created. So I've basically taken all these different image prompts right here. There's about 516 of them. And I've created a series of images um, using those prompts. You can see right here all the different images that have been created. And th in this case, it was different, um, different SaaS brands or different SaaS tools, different images um, to become SaaS tool brands. And you can see it all right here. There's tons of them, right? Um, you know, I'll just pull up one or two for an example. They're actually pretty nice looking. Um, let me drag this over and let me show you what I'm talking about. They're pretty high quality, so they take a minute to load. So check out that image. That's pretty pretty nice image for a SaaS product. Let's go to one that's maybe a little bit more. Uh, let's go to this one. This one's a little bit more uh, simplified, let's say. Um, here we go. And it, and it does this for my entire set of prompts. So now I have hundreds of images, you know, you could do analytics, SaaS software, um, you know, if you want hundreds of very nice looking images based off of the prompts that I fed into this mid journey automation bot, um, another interface of what it might look like. Um, and that was my, my objective, right? Was to create these images of different brand concepts for different SaaS tools. All right. So now let's go back and let's see, um, if anything has been created. Oh, there it goes. It actually is now doing a prompt um, it's doing a prompt and here's actually a couple ones that it did. Here's on an iPhone screen in the prompt. It's actually still prompting. So let's just give it a moment. Um, but you can create all these different images just using this mid journey automation bot. Okay. There's a lot of things you could do with this. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. For example, I have also created images. Um, if you look over here, a lot of different, um, a lot of different abstract images, right? And I've done these all automatically. I haven't done any of these myself, but all kinds of different abstract images for a project that I'm working on, which I'll talk about at a later time. Um, but it does this all automatically through this mid journey automation bot. And you should really check it out. It's very, very cool. I'm going to show you how to make a, a total website. All right. So with this, I'm going to show you how to make a total website, um, just using the content generated from these spreadsheets and using the image generation tool that you're seeing right here. It's going to be very, very cool. And it's going to be very easy to do. You can use this tool, right? So that you can create a bunch of different content and then you could load this content, the copy and the images into like a, a CMS, a content management system, like a web flow, which I'll show you exactly how to do in a later video. So let's go back to discord. Let's see what, uh, what's been created here. Oh, here we go. Here's one of my prompts, right? All right, so it's automatically created this. It took the file that I fed into it and it says a matte image prompt. Visualize a sleek iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's large screen alive with vibrant interface of House Party, all right? So House Party is a SaaS application that I've uh, imagined using ChatGPT, right? Now I'm having an image created automatically through this mid-journey bot and it's gonna do this for every single one of those 500 prompts that I had fed into the system, right? So I'm gonna have you know a couple thousand images of all these different tools, okay? And you can use this to create you know whatever you'd like. There's so many ways you can apply this. 
Um, but here's the images that were created, okay? This is for House Party, and it gives you an example of what this app might actually look like. So very, very cool stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I'm gonna discontinue it at the moment. And basically, this will just kind of shut down if you close it out. Um, but anyway, the, the sky is really the limit with this tool. Like I said, I'll put the link in the show notes. Um, I'll give you a bit more of like an application of how to use this um, in, a, in a further video, perhaps in a part two. But I wanted to at least introduce this tool to you to show you kind of what it was, what the possibilities were, and what you could do with it. Um, this automatic image generation tool using MidJourney, you don't have to manage it all. You basically just feed it a file and you have hundreds of images created in really in probably a couple hours, you know? Um, it depends on how many you feed, right? 100, 500 images will take a little bit of time. I typically run it overnight, but you can now create with AI content. So copy itself, um, paragraphs, headlines, blog post titles, emails, whatever you want. You can also create images automatically using the prompts that you've created from ChatGPT in an automated way. And then you can have all this content come together in a website to create websites very, very easily on the fly as an example. You can do it for many different things, but that's just one example, all right? Um, next time I'm gonna show you how to create images that you can now then sell on different marketplaces using a tool like this. So stay tuned for that one. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Dan Camacho. I'll be back next time with a part two. See ya.